Top of the fifth and the last chance for the others to increase their lead. Catherine Tucker leading off the inning. Sack bunt in her first at kick. And again, just nearly impossible to overstate the amount of experience on this team. We go in order of the one, two, three kickers here. 34 seasons, 50 plus seasons, 21 seasons. Ryan one and ball and one foul. The old men of the West Coast up around in the high teens and early 20s. Yeah, playing since aught three, we think of ourselves as old timers, and then we see a roster like this. Tucker gets the bunt down. Hanley makes the throw. Oh, and she's out. The ball pegs her just before she gets to the base. Yeah, Wood makes a nice choice there, letting the ball carry. He guides it into her back. And she's out. More, uh, more solid work from the uh, first baseman in this game. Greg Zeitz coming back up for his second at kick. He had a long duel with Lanahan in his first AK. The victim somehow of both a strikeout and a foul out in the same at kick. The veteran no doubt looking for a little redemption here. Fouled off, one ball and one foul to sights. Just fouled on the third baseline. One on one pitch. Oh, great bunt, right in between the fielders, and he's safe at first without a throw. Well, duck snort to get off the schneid there for Greg Sites. Ah, uh, that's right. Glad you were able to work that in. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I've been dreaming of that. Oh, see, now that ball came in a little differently. I think that's the first time I've noticed that from Lanahan. Oh, he's change up for her. <laughs> if we want to name it. You might call it a curve, but it was coming at an angle from third to first as opposed to the usual first to third movement we expect. Wilner bunts it down the third baseline. They're going to let it go. It stays fair. That was Vlad Guerrero material there. Bad yeah. ball kicker, yeah. reaching outside the zone. Uh, let's even keep that fair on a Southern California dirt field. Yeah, good luck with that. Jason Fornicola, DK. <laughs> Think that'll catch on, designated kicker? <laughs> I'll, I'll invent a term any chance I have. I was... I was trying to figure out what you were talking yeah, about. Well. <laughs> Why else would I have founded the Kickball Scorekeepers and Statistician Society on Facebook if I didn't enjoy making up a nice term for now? There are closet stat geeks all across the nation thanking you right now, Ryan. Come out of the woodwork. I'm waiting for you guys. <laughs> Going foul, but kicking it into the runner just to be safe. It's all good. Kind of a spite tag there. <laughs> yeah. Hence the hand slap apology. <laughs> Can't be too careful about these things. Sure. Ball two. Count of two zero oh, and two with two on and one out. Wernicola chips it to the right. Podbelski runs it down and pegs him in the back. Risky move, giving up control of the ball with two runners on, but Wood fields the ricochet in time to prevent a score. And with the one-out sack from Fornicola, once again, the others have runners at second and third. They have now managed that in all five innings. That brings up Natalie Jacobs. She has a couple of options here. Make him give her first base to hold the runner or try to bring sights home from third. With Katie Keat on deck, they may take their chances here while there's still no force at home. You young kickball teams watching this hoping to learn the keys to victory, start by getting runners to second and third in every single inning you play. Bunt goes to third, and Seitz is going to try to score on the squeeze. Hanley's got it, and he pegs Seitz in the back before he can go into his dive. Well, you wanted the bunt just a little firmer down the third baseline. If it gets another six feet or so, he's probably got a chance to score. Well, no pain, no gain, but the others fail to add some insurance, and it remains a two-run game going into the bottom of the fifth. No runs on two hits, two runners left off. 